Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Bank feed rules in QuickBooks Desktop Pro Plus let you define conditions for incoming or outgoing money transactions in your bank feeds that, when met, automatically change the payee and categorize the transaction to an account and, if available, categorize outgoing money to a job. This lesson covers creating bank feed rules when using the Advanced Bank Feed mode available for accounts since QuickBooks 2021. Also, note that rules are applied to all bank feeds and accounts within the Bank Feed Center, so this is something to consider when creating bank feed rules to ensure they are not overly broad or too specific. To manually create a bank feed rule in QuickBooks Desktop when using the Advanced Bank Feed mode, select Banking, Bank Feeds, Bank Feeds Center from the menu bar to open the Bank Feed Center window. Then click the Rules button at the top of the window to open the Rules list. To create a new rule, click the Add Rule button in the window's upper right corner to open the Add Rule Details window. Type a name for the rule into the Rule Name field. To select whether to apply the rule to transactions where money comes in, goes out, or both, select the desired choice from the 4 dropdown. Note you can only assign customer job values to money out transactions. Next, to set the transaction criterion that triggers this rule, select a field to compare, a comparison operator, and then enter a comparison value by using the two dropdowns and adjacent field in the When a Transaction Meets section. If needed, to add another comparison criterion, Click the Add Line button in this section to add another set of fields, and then repeat this process. If you create multiple criteria for this rule, then use the dropdown that follows the When a Transaction Meets label to select either the word Any or All to choose how many of the criteria the transaction must match to trigger the rule's actions. To set the values for the actions which occur when a transaction meets the rules criteria, select your desired choices from the Rename Payee To and Categorize In Account and, if available, and Assign Customer Job dropdowns. Note that if you actively leave one of these choices blank by selecting a value from a following dropdown without specifying its preceding dropdown's value, for example, selecting a customer job without specifying a payee or account, then the blank value overwrites any existing value in the corresponding field in the matching transaction field. However, if you leave blank values in the trailing dropdowns, for example, selecting a payee but not an account, then the existing transaction values remain unchanged. To save the rule after creating it, click the Save button. Alternatively, to cancel creating the rule, click the Cancel button and then confirm it within the confirmation prompt that appears. Created rules appear within the Rules List window. To edit an existing rule, click its Edit link under its Action column to open the Edit Rule Details window, make your changes, and then click the Save button. To clone a rule for editing, select the Clone command from the Rules Action column dropdown to open a copy of the rule in the Add Rule Details window. Then change its name and rule conditions and actions as needed and click the Save button. To delete a rule, select the Delete command from the Rules Action column dropdown and then confirm its deletion in the confirmation prompt that appears. Alternatively, to batch delete bank feed rules, check the checkboxes to the left of the rules to delete, click the Batch Actions dropdown towards the lower left corner of the Rules List window, and then select the Delete command from the pop-up menu. Then confirm the deletion in the confirmation prompt that appears. To close the Rules List window, click the X button in its upper right corner.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.